<laughs> no, no, it's cool. I know it's all good. <laughs> I understand. Twenty-five. Oh, it's all good. It's glad. Oh, Lego blah. Shut up. Fuck you guys. God damn it. <laughs> For speculate. Ah, uh, yeah. Cocks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you do. Yeah, you do. Damn it. Anyways, uh, we, my very first topic that I got going. Um, Square Enix. Square Enix working on a new game. That's not Final Fantasy. Um, Avenger, uh, Square Enix is going to be in, announces that they're in Marvel's field for E3. Coming up pretty soon, just around the corner, uh, I want to say this weekend. Um, but overall, um, I'm really excited about this game. So it looks like um, this was announced on Twitter on Wednesday. Actually, today. This was actually a day that they're going to have a wide review. Um, so the Avengers, so this game was actually officially officially announced back in January 17 alongside with a short teaser but I guess uh, how? so doesn't literally look like they're saying that um there has been a lot of details about about this game Timeline of the game. Farther back. Expect a lot more. And a lot more details about it. They're going to be teasing it and announcing it during E3, but then we're going to get a lot more details on the 10th. Stay tuned for that. Maybe I'll, Maybe I'll do a recap of it. Yeah. I'm really curious. I'm really, I'm really curious to see how this game. It's made by Square. Um, <clears throat> is it gonna be like uh? Very driven. Exactly, because Square Enix. That's like that's been their main goal. Exactly, it's very story driven. So. That's gonna be pretty cool if you could go through the very first Avengers movie all up until Endgame. That would be pretty cool. If not, then the probably just even further back a long time ago, or probably it's gonna take after Endgame. What's gonna happen after that? Other upcoming villains. They already fought Thanos. They're probably gonna fight uh, Galactus. Or Mamu's gonna. My internet. 
I'm excited to see what this is, um, how this game will go. Now, in terms of platforms, that's not been revealed as well. Um, I could see this game coming out for all game platforms. Um, Switch, Nintendo, Xbox, PlayStation. See now that that's um no it doesn't really say that you don't have the in kind of uh, kind of game fighting game uh the RPG. What if it's like a side scroller, high definition side scroller? <laughs> side oh, hey, man. you know what? That'd be pretty cool because that's kind of like a mixture of like retro gaming and then. Because back then in retro gaming, it's all a bunch of like side scrolls. Yeah, yeah. And so, I don't know. That'd be pretty cool. But I'm really curious to see how this is gonna play out. Like I said, because it is being on Square. I don't have too much uh, experience with Square Enix games, but I did have noted uh, focus story directive set, kind of like a. Like I said, I guess we're gonna have to wait. Um, all right, Ron, what do you? Oh, well, I mean, <clears throat> if you guys were, if you guys tuned in last week, talking about uh, Computex, it actually started yesterday. Hey. And one of the things that uh, one of the things that they mentioned real quick, talking about ET three right now. E <laughs> is um the new navi graphics chip by amd was announced um it's built off of an architecture called rdna which i'm guessing radeon dna but uh it's they didn't tell too much as far as um like performance or they claim it's 1.5 times more performance per watt but uh, more will be shown as far as its capabilities. Hey. Um. I and I think it's because the fact that S five is gonna be Navi graphics as well as the. Yep. No, you gotta push the uh, button oh, on the back. Right. Uh, sorry everybody we're working on that um on time during this stream and i'm pretty sure it's a stream camera is gonna kind of kind of figure out how to work around that but as of right now you can have to bear our camera but uh yeah as far as performance goes more will be and I'm pretty sure it's the showcase. Um, five. And I'd even sun box. I don't know. I know well, there's a lot of talk on PS5. Yeah. Um, speak. I, I, I was, when I was looking at my top, finding a topic, I just skimmed it through. And then I saw something. I didn't read up on it. Asked it. I, it was just like a brief look. <clears throat> well, if we got time later, we can go out. Yeah. What's up. Um. Is there anything else or uh, anything else going on with copy text? Oh, there there Pretty was actually noticeable. a lot going on with. Um, he announced the new Ryzen CP, which is. Uh, it's on seven nanometer processors now, which is the smallest, the smallest chip now. Um, they have, oh, they have the three different models right now: a Ryzen seven, seven hundred X, which has a uh, real quick eight threads, uh, four point four gig, three point 
three uh 65 watt tv uh and then they for 329 dollars then they have the ryzen 7 3800x which has a core 16 threads 4.5 gigahertz 59 bay uh 105 watt tv uh for 399 bucks and the ryzen 9 3900 uh with 12 core 24 threads uh, it has 4.6 gigahertz 3.8 base clock um 100 white uh, 100 105 <laughs> watt tdp uh for 500 dollars. so as far as the performance goes they say that the 3700x is out 18 percent faster than the 2700x which is their current flagship a ship uh and then there is 3800x which boasts up to 30 percent more gaming performance based on the games i've tested which i from what i can remember on the top of my head pubg 5 i think battlefield on there uh there's that so well up to 30 percent and yep. and fortnite <laughs> I, was fortnite on there i don't know i don't know i'm not sure actual site for it on the right that one yeah scroll down it should be somewhere here yeah thousand it's so to have the no hold on go on the first page no we'll go i know to... where you got this got the watching the yeah so we don't really have any type of uh hold on i'll check it out real quick um but i was watching this video with ron um or watching this and um when they were actually announced the we're talking about the ryzen 3900x um <clears throat> it blew my mind because of the price point and the because they compared it, they compared it to i9, uh, Intel's i9, uh, 9920X, uh, chipset, and the 3900X actually outperforms better than an i9 9900 And for the, exactly, and it is pretty cool. And the fact that it's half the price of the Intel i9 is even more amazing because you know they even said during the video that this is they're gonna be like their mainstream especially for the fact of how much and i'm not gonna lie later on this year i am gonna be getting my again and that ryzen 9 is looking pretty dope here's the gaming performance right here yeah, yeah this is the um gaming performance Um, looks like they didn't do Battlefield. Oh, yeah, Overwatch. And uh, one thing too that they mentioned, talk about ports uh, PCIe 4.0. But oh yeah. But yeah, I mean, as you were saying, like, it's really good value for the performance that you get out of it. Like, as far as the best like gaming out there, Intel still, but you're gonna pay a good penny for the yeah. performance. But I would rather, I mean, I mean, I would rather pay something that's half the price that will perform better than their i. Yeah, I mean, according to what they're showing off here, it looks like for what you're paying for, it's going to have Intel running for their money, like, again, but even more so. Because if they say, like, um, the 3900X, I'll prefer 99 or 50%. That's, I think that's what... That's dope! 
Especially if you're an AMD fan, like all three of us. It might still be an uh Well you can still four. use that on um Oh, like it's X five seventy right now. Yeah. You can use older some only some. Yeah, only some though. Um Yeah. Yeah. Um but from what I was looking but from what I saw uh a year later um, I was looking at it too. So it looked like um, when it comes to the 3900X or even just the regular, just all these new uh, Gen 2 chips, you can use all these chips are going to be compatible with the X470 and the X570. Which, if you own something um, that's an X370, it's um, some models are going to work. They didn't really, they didn't really what models are. Gonna Compatible chipset, but um, it's gonna have to. Gonna, I guess they're gonna release more info. Exactly. Yeah. Most like most likely, and actually not most definitely. Like exactly. I said, that's why that's why uh, sometime this CPU. Yeah, because it's not like you have a 4.0 um, graphics card right now anyway. Yeah. 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 Wait till you upgrade to your 4.0 graphics card, then upgrade your motherboard. <laughs> yeah, that's you know? true. But if I want to do, if I do want to utilize the chips, remember, I, my motherboard, I don't know. Um, no, but at yeah. the same time, if you threw the best CPU in that motherboard, you're gonna over. Yeah. Um, if you put the best CPU in like a medium tier motherboard, you're gonna RMs and stuff. That's true. Yeah. But here is some info on the pricing. Talking shit. <laughs> hey man, After hey man. you recommended it to me when hey you putting it a build together for it's me. It's still a good motherboard. <laughs> it's just which chip were you trying to put on there? The Ryzen nine or uh No because That's because true. no because the I last time we that. talked about it I was telling you that I wanted to upgrade told me that to wait because you showed me this yeah. the the Ryzen the Zen two yeah the new chipsets X about price was good so are you gonna go thirty seven if I don't upgrade my motherboard then I mean honestly I would go like the best bang for the buck upgrade and 3800x would be nice too but i'm not sure if you're gonna at 105 watts i'm not sure all that power you know I'm not even sure if games really take advantage of all these cores right now yeah that too i mean these do have better performance as far as as a Anyways. Big. Right cover. Older motherboards may not work with the CPU, which kind of goes back on uh, AMD's 
bird of having like full full like support until 2020. So that real quick is some MSI boards or that I was about with the new um yeah it doesn't I don't it's unfortunate like it kind of kind of makes me about it but you don't know yet. so until we get other reviews um on the topic directly having test them then we won't have I would just follow this with all uh there nothing so X only X570 boards have been announced like we nothing uh me or low tier so there may or may not be me or low tier boards for um and X570 boards a lot of them are gonna have great cool for example like Gigabyte they have really nice um like pipes and stuff attached to things on the board which is nice and also one board in particular they're called the Azrock Aqua that has onboard water cooling that was pretty dope yeah I really like for a thousand bucks though hey I don't like this much anymore <laughs> yeah dude onboard water cooling that's crazy Gigabyte, oh, actually, no. No, it's um, Azrock Aqua. Azrock. Yeah. Azrock. I'm sorry, bro. Yes. Yeah, you see that shit, man? Freaking water cooling all over, man. And Corsair, just to get this all through, all complex. Um, a gigabyte uh, just showed off. It looks like a graphics card, right? But this here is a 10 terabyte ssd <laughs> yeah dude 10 terabyte huh was it either 10 or an 8 yeah it's an 8 sorry about that yeah. it's an 8 terabyte i was gonna say 10 terabyte yeah, yeah damn <laughs> 8 terabyte ssd that thing looks like a freaking graphics card. yes yeah yes pcie 4.0 and then I think they they even broke it down too when you open. Yeah. Yes, sir. Um, yeah, they even broke it up too. They opened it and inside you just see the, uh, the what it looks M. like two drives, I believe. Yeah, M dot two drives, just individual M dot two drives all on this on this um uh, board. This one PCB. Yeah, this one PCB, and then all just compressed into this thing right here, which looks like. Like Radeon's, uh, one of their um, graphics cards. So that's crazy. It doesn't does, it, doesn't it? I mean dude? that you know, and it and it makes sense for them to do that. It really does make sense for them, and it looks pretty nice. But damn, eight terabytes and then speeds up to fifteen gigabytes, man. Holy! I mean, I got a four terabyte mechanical, but eight terabyte, crazy. That's probably um, something I want. I want to get into it. Fifteen gigabytes per second speeds. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> I think if you were to put that in an ITX case, okay, like. It would just be a huge blockage of airflow. Oh, yeah. Extra. Yeah. Oh, 
Unless you unless you decide to go external, but I've seen like in general. Oh gosh. He has you know an external like an external board that he just puts his graphics card on there if they don't fit in the case or if they have any It's called a um end off, but what he's talking but he's No, not a dotted board. You know how um when people were mining you had those like those extender, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, but what Ant was saying is that the ITX motherboard only has one. Oh slot. shit! Yeah, bro. Oh, not two, only one. Yep. <laughs> so even if you want to put like a an Elgato HD Pro that requires a piece. I have a micro ATX. Yeah. <laughs> Hell no. Downgrading. I know. You got you got a three seventy, right? Four seventy. Yeah, because he has the twenty like you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, I've actually been digging around through it. Well, there is now, but when we were putting... Uh... Yeah, we... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> it's a, it's a, it's by, um, Asus. Asus, however you... Micro, uh, micro... Export. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. It's, uh, yeah. If you go on Newegg, it's, uh, it's an Asus. And I think it's for, like, All right, guys, we're going shopping at the Tech Trio. Um, Wishlist is going to be in down the description below. <laughs> is E450 only, bro. I could have sworn. 70? I could have sworn. Maybe I'll join. Well, I mean, Ann could always go for X570. No, the no. only person that's going to be one-upping both of you is going to be fucking me, all right? <laughs> all right, man. All right, man. <laughs> so, if you guys are interested, check out Perspective's video, because he's going to be making a video building. Well, thank you. Hey, fine by me. And then uh, one of the last things is uh, Corsair is releasing a fast 5 gigabyte per second M.2 drive. Yeah. 5 gigabytes per second M.2 drive. There. Yep. At now, what is the price point? On? Do we have? Do we have a price point? If we have a price point, I'm adding that to the list of my new PC, and I'm pretty sure I'm gonna piss off my dad. <laughs> oh. Actually, you know what I would do with my old computer? Get a case. And yeah, a huge. Hey man, if you're running five ter, if you're it's a five what five terabyte terabyte. No, um, that's the gigabyte. This is the oh. just an M.2 drive. Five gigabyte. Okay, but even then, something like that with. That's as fun. Definitely game. That. Nope, that's dope. 
Yeah, all of this is just all like geared towards uh, Ryzen. Yeah. I mean, I hate to sound like uh, an angel. I don't have much Intel news from Computex, but um, I guess from one of the videos I was watching, um, they released a, a CPU that is pretty much a rehash of the Basically the same shit that <laughs> like an interview. But yeah, I mean you got people like Linus, um and so all the tech tuber uh science studio that everyone's saying that uh Ryzen's a big thing, you know, have uh, Intel running for the money and I think what I've seen I guess um Probably gonna happen. Hell yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. Is that all we got for in the in the tech world as of right now? Yeah, I mean there's a lot, but that's all I, I can for right now for tonight. Cool. Yeah, that's all of the that's pretty much the end. Computex coverage. Yeah. But really good information, especially for those of you guys who are out there that are looking to either upgrade your PC or if you build a new PC, um, definitely something that you'd want to take a look at. Uh, again, um, for the chipsets, and then I don't know about the motherboard in a month, but guys and chips. Okay. July uh, 7th, I believe. July 7th. So take out July 7th, you know. Um, are in the market of upgrading or if you wanted to maybe wait black friday and hopefully pretty not for not a whole lot but you know, at least a good not bad oh, dude. not bad if you're just trying to save money like if you just want to throw away cp or next generation after this once like you know everything's perfected as far as pcie 4.0 mm -hmm. like get a cheap 2700x and just sit on that yeah dude cheap 2700x oh well, and what you got for us in the retro Oh man, that was a fun game. I remember. Oh no! <laughs> Dang it! Why? So okay, <clears throat> uh, this is gonna it, be fix it. Fix okay. it. Okay, sorry guys, we're having a little technical difficulties. Um, unfortunately, our what? 
So unfortunately, we kind of failed on this one, guys. Uh, and you know, I'm not. I'm also talking to you and and also all our viewers. We are very sorry, but we were not capturing Ant or Modware's audio. So I had to double check. What? Yeah. So, but you know, something that was overlooked, and we, you know, I I wasn't paying attention, hoping that it was. So, but um, yeah. Um, portion of this, you want some of Ant's topic, Ant's audio, or his kind of like, I guess, to adding into. But we do have the audio working now. Um, so bring our <laughs> highlight reel. Sorry about that, guys. Sorry about. That. But anyways, so okay. uh, so, so do I start over again? Yeah, go ahead if you want to start over. We don't. I don't All right. Mind. Welcome everybody the to the Tech Trio. This is <laughs> five. Okay, okay. Go ahead right now. I'll, I'll edit this for the beginning. No, nah, it's all good. It's all good. I know. I know what Ron's gonna do. He's just gonna. He's just gonna go to Google Translate and he's gonna type everything out for you. Just said intro and then just put it over the video. Oh, that's all good. Okay. All right, and so. Uh, let's go. Okay, let's go so over let's go here. over. Okay, so Konami. Basically, I'm going to be covering Konami uh, confirming the full lineup of the Contra Anniversary Collection, uh, which will be releasing on, I believe, it's PS4, Xbox One, uh, Nintendo Switch, which I'm definitely going to buy it on Nintendo Switch, uh, and I think PC through Steam. Um, I I don't know about that though. Don't oh. quote me on that. What's up? Now, no, 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 no. I'm, no, no. I'm just curious because, like, how you said that it was going to be coming to PC through Steam. Oh, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> no, okay anyway, okay, okay. No worries. Okay, so basically, I'll just list off what the um games that are going to be releasing as so far. Uh, first off is Contra, which is the arcade version. Second is Contra, which is the NES version, and then Contra, which is the Famicom version, which is the you know Japanese version one. Then they're releasing Super Contra Arcade, which is pretty cool. Super C, which is Super Contra for the NES, and then Contra Three: The Alien Wars, which was uh, released on the SNES. Um, that one's supposed to be like a really really good one. I played a couple, a little bit of it, and it's pretty sick. Um, then. I just learned about this is a uh, super pro protector alien rebels. Now the whole um, story behind this is that um, in Europe back then, which was like what late eighties, early nineties um, video games was, they were very, very strict on video games. And so um, violence was like the biggest deal. So in order for them to release Contra, <laughs> They released a version of Contra instead of men running around with guns, you're a robot running around with guns. So they replaced it because apparently robots are not as dangerous or not as, um, I guess, I don't know, like violent. <laughs> to release on the video game. So apparently you can buy all the Contra games in Europe but they're all robots. So I'd be interested in playing that. Um, then Contra Hard Corpse, which was Sega Genesis, and then another one, um, Pro Protector, which was on the Sega Mega Drive, which the Sega Mega Drive is the version in uh, Europe. And then Operation C, which was apparently released on Game Boy, which I never even played that one before. After that, Konami is also going to add an additional six Contra games, Japanese Contra games, to the collection. Um, you're going to expect Contra Arcade, Japanese version. Japanese version of Super Contra Alien no Gyakusho. Gyakusho? <laughs> Super Contra. And then Super Contra C. And remember, these are all Japanese, so this is going to be pretty cool. Um, Contra Spirits, which is Contra 3, the Alien Wars, or Alien Wars, uh, Contra Operation C, and Contra the Hard Corpse, Contra Hard Corpse. Um, what I think is cool about this collection is they're going to add those Japanese versions later on. 
Um, it would be really cool that there um, that we see that type of DLC with the Castlevania games because I know a couple people they were hoping there were certain other um, uh, Castlevania versions. So hopefully they're going to release those just like this. But if you can tell, it's a free update. So you're getting all these games, and I think the the price is about nineteen ninety nine. Uh, okay. which is oh, yeah it was that's... the same price as castlevania yeah Bad. i know so i would grab this i mean i'm i'm these type of games you kind of want to play on the go but you know if you have a pc grab it or ps4 xbox one grab it um on top of that and it was really cool on the castlevania version is that it also um within the software um there's an ebook of like history about Castlevania and the origins of it, etc., and back um, backstories. They're also gonna have that ebook for all the Contras, so you get to see like you know lore and you know development of the characters, how the game became. It's really really cool. A lot of people think uh, said the ebook was so nice that they kind of wished that there was a printed version of it, which would have been cool if you can you know collect that as well. Hmm. Oh. Yeah, so I I can't wait for this one. That'd be definitely something. Uh, definitely something worth streaming. Oh yeah. Hey, same. Play any S. On train. There's like so much to play. I didn't know it was so huge. Yeah. She said. <laughs> she said. <laughs> but yeah, it's pretty interesting. I thought it was really interesting that Europe, the PAL versions, they had to, they had to turn them into robots because yeah, of violence. <laughs> oh, man. It's still violence. Yeah. Right. But that you know, and hearing that reminds me of that news that I read. I don't know. Guys saw PUBG it. PUBG Mobile. Exactly, PUBG Mobile. I don't know, Ant, if you saw that. Oh, I think so. Yeah. Um. To all our viewers out there, um, who are into gaming and play PUBG Mobile, um, so I guess China, China is against this, uh, this violence law as well. It's like how uh, Europe was came to Contra. Um, in on PUBG Mobile, if you're playing China, uh. Every time you would kill somebody, um, a, somebody who was down, you would shoot them, die. But what would happen is that instead of falling over and dying, what they'll do is get on their knees and drop their loot box and <laughs> that's it. You know, that's that's yeah, that's pretty much it because of how strict they are when it comes to when it came to. Talking about PUBG, I guess in India, I was watching the quartering earlier today, and India, they arrested, I think it was like 12 kids for playing PUBG Mobile? Yeah, because um, in, uh, in India... Go ahead. <laughs> um, in India, and um, I think somewhere else in the Middle East, um, PUBG is actually banned, um, whether it be PUBG Mobile or PUBG or any other games are banned because they're violence. So having those kids arrested and everything makes sense. Already, oh, and I'm pretty sure it was announced too. Game. Player on no battleground now banned. Stop playing it, you will. But um, yeah. Let's see, it's strange that they have to ban it. Us kids, I think. I mean. I mean, I read something up. I read something up uh, about this kind of stuff. Um, there's this YouTuber that I follow, Matthew Centor. 
um he actually um did a video talking about 10 games that were banned in other countries um especially some of the games that we hates um there's one game that was kind of like um go around i guess you're you're trying to avenge your and everything because uh and then you could go to every person that you finding get closer um you would torture them take mm -hmm. like a hacksaw and then you cutting off five chainsaw hang them acid something like that that game was actually banned in and they're actually people were trying to like, getting them and selling them as if it was like and if you were not selling that or having that game in your possession yeah <laughs> um mm. so i guess so um and did you want to talk about your other topic or should we just or you can go on all right cool um more anthem news <laughs> Um, for those of you who don't know, I, um, I have my own Twitch.tv And, um, I recently purchased Anthem. I actually bought Anthem. What? Um, yeah, I bought Anthem. I bought it and I've been playing it. I haven't played too much of it because, uh, because of one main reason that I had an issue for, uh, while I was playing. I would play the game and, like, about a minute in the game that was one of my issues but then i looked um my drivers were not updated just yet so i updated for my g and it started working fine but overall that and so right now it's been it's been uh it's been working out pretty pretty well for me at least um i haven't experienced any other bugs except for that um obviously that was just a driver issue when it came when it came to the game itself, like actual gameplay, I haven't went type of bug. But um, there is gonna be a an anthem update that adds legendary missions and a first look at the at Cataclysm coming out tomorrow. Um, Cataclysm, I'm guessing it's, a, it's like a DLC or expansion or patch. But um. In terms of the of the update, uh, which is 1.2 uh, bug fixes, um, there's there's a lot of lists that there's going on, but there's obviously more. And um, I can't really say I can't really vouch for these uh, that, that they that were fixed because I haven't experienced them. And um, strongholds and everything. <laughs> And then let's see, new missions and new legendary missions as well for more any right. So it looks like to me what they're doing is that they're adding more looks like they're adding more in game content, which is something that people think about. The game never had any in game content. So it looks like they're gonna start adding some of that into the game. Um especially when so when it comes what? to uh, Cataclysm. So, what made you decide to buy this game? Yeah, who at EA gave you head to make you buy this game? <laughs> Nobody! What they do? Buy your, buy your. Wait, no, I want to know, we're, seriously, why did you buy this game? Okay, the reason why I bought this game, because I still, you know, I've been watching streamers still play this game. Wow, like, even though after... Um, Hearing about how and fifty percent of Anthem's first day be released have already left the game. Going on um going on Twitch watching other you know, maybe this game has some potential. So and you know, curiosity still spiked. Like like I said, I was hyped for this and I never bought it um on day one. So I wanted to try it out and look how many hours do you have in this game? I was gonna say, oh my gosh! <laughs> but, 
I mean, <laughs> like I said, overall, that game, the game looks good. Even though some people are saying, oh, yeah, they downgraded. To me, that's not really a big issue. The only big issue um, to the game would be the gameplay itself. So far, I haven't had any had a driver issue crash on me. Sure. Other than that, I haven't had any at one hour. I think there, I, I, it's not about the, it's not the, it's not the whole game and what, you know, if there's a bugs or anything is the issue. I think the issue um, that Anthem brings to the plate of the gaming industry is how they hyped up this game so much. And then they, they basically over promised and absolutely under delivered. Oh, yep. and oh. are we going, and do we want to support that type of, you know, business. Um, also, they they even um, admitted that they had like seven years to work on it, and they only started like the f- last two years of production. And you know, board. and you know what? One hundred percent, I agree with you. Yes, EA and Bioware hyped this game up so so much, and that's the appointment for a lot of people. I agree with that. Also, the other part is that the fact that it has no end game content. But the reason why I start I started playing this is because you know what, maybe there's gonna be hope for this. I feel like there's gonna be hope for this game because, I yes it's yes they hyped this game, it for all the you know those big tier player games you know, or gamers, but. Me personally, what I think the way that it looked like it is that some of us are really kind of spoiled the supposed to be because you hold such a high expectation when it comes. For me, I like okay. Um, what's a what's a game that I can? Um, I think that was on top of my head. I but um, there's this game that can that that really didn't really spike interest for me. I to get anyways and I played it and she's like, you know what? This is I'm actually enjoying I think there's gonna be hope for this uh for Anthem. Don't get me wrong. Sure, but, I mean I'm not disagreeing you on that, but like just how they also um treated their employees when they built this game too. Apparently I mean, there are a lot of there was a lot of like just not w- treated last, well. Yeah. A lot of, I mean, a lot of people like they quit or they had like a lot of depression. I mean, how they pushed them and stuff like that. I mean, it was like, it was kind of, I think it was Kotaku that blew the doors wide open on how that company um, built this game. Um, It's just, it's just very interesting. I was just curious of why, why you wanted it. I, I understand like you're looking for something and you were hyped. I remember, I remember last year you showed me the, um, the trailer um, at at uh, Perspective's house, and you're like, dude, this is the Destiny killer. I don't know if you saw that, and that was right after E3 last year. Yep. And I remember watching that. So, I mean, I get it. Um, very interesting though, but it's very political in the gaming industry right now. Right. <laughs> pay full price. Hmm? Pay full price. I... Okay. Um, game itself. Well, I the think... game's dropped in price. That's why. It has dropped in price. Yeah, but how much did you pay? Yeah, it sounds about right. It dropped in price, dude. Yeah, I like how the first three was like ruining the matchmaking. Oh no, I you no, know, I paid it for twenty to twenty-five. Yeah, it sounds about right. It dropped significantly because no one was buying it. Oh yeah, in Europe there was an actual like like bin. You know how like when you go to Walmart they have like those. Oh yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah, there was there was a bin full of game for. Yeah, it was actually did way worse than uh uh what is it called, uh Fallout seventy six. Yeah, yeah, there was um. Consoles being sold, Anthem bundle consoles being sold that yeah. would be sold with the Anthem game, beginning a console with two games. That's right. I remember us yeah. talking about that on an episode. 
Very interesting, PJ. Very interesting. <laughs> I mean, I can't hate much on spending a game on a company. Like, yeah, a I mean, shitty company. I've done that before. Arcade. So, <laughs> yeah. We don't want to talk about that. Yeah. yeah. I just, I just, like, just how everything unraveled about that game and how no one even knew what kind of game it was and it was just kind of thrown together, basically, you know, and then sh- shoved out the door. It's just very interesting. And then trying to take advantage of consumers' money like us, you know, as a gamer. So I, I, I was following that for weeks, man. That's why I'm surprised that you bought it. And I, I mean, I've been reading or been watching YouTube videos about about Anthem since like even last week <laughs> about how bad that game. Or not not quality. Well, quality, yes, but I think mainly it turned into just how. Um, what is it? Is it Bioware? Yeah. So how? Uh, yeah, dude. It it was really interesting. So. And I, I've I've watched YouTubers talk about it, and it's just insane. I I don't know if you have PJ or Lego Bra, but you should sometime just to check it out. You know, it's yeah, very interesting. But to me, I don't care about the political aspect. Like, like that's what happened. That's yeah. that's pretty much what kind of steered this game away from, or like people's main focus about the game. Back the fact that how well this game. How well it looks, and yes, how there's yes there's bugs and everything, but then you know at first they were talking about that, but now like what perspective keeps saying it's political. Everybody's cons- everybody's so worried. It's like all worked up about how political and by and then how promises that. Blah, blah, blah. No, I have to stand by it though. Even at. Or sixty bucks, I would still buy. Exactly, you know? exactly. You don't want to support that. And yeah, but I mean, at least it was thirty bucks. I'm sure if it was more than that, you would buy it. Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah, no, I hear you. I had fun on the demo. It was a lot of fun. Um, there are just a lot of glitches, um, but I'm pretty sure they fleshed that all out. Majority um, of it. Yeah, it's just very interesting that like how much you're invested in Destiny, and then you wanted to still get Anthem. Right. I heard I heard Destiny's like just an amazing game right now. It it is, especially with this new stuff that's coming out. Yeah. Which I'm still playing like a lot. I'm still in love, but Anthem with Anthem as well. If they could fix these bugs and everything. Okay. Teach their own. Did you guys hear about uh, the new, I think it was a Mario Kart game? Uh, and I guess it's got a shit ton of microtransactions in it. For, oh, like, yes! Skins and cars and what? stuff. Yeah, yeah no, this um, new Mario Kart game is going to come out. That's uh, that's for mobile, though. Yeah, yeah that's, that's what I mobile. thought. It's a, yeah, it's a Mario Kart mobile. Um, I actually read up on that too. Yeah, they're gonna have a lot of microtransactions, especially when it comes to a new character. They're gonna make so much money, bro. Yeah, but then people are gonna be upset. It's like, oh, they're following EA's footsteps. Yeah. Microtransactions. But how much you wanna bet though? Like some of these people aren't probably gonna be as you know as upset, or like you know, they won't complain about the microtransactions as they were. I mean, I know I will, but I'm sure people have a blind eye to it. There will be, but I know there will be happy parents. Like, oh, I <laughs> My blind. credit card! Exactly, exactly. <laughs> oh, man. Uh. So, that Pik- uh, Pik- Pokemon Sleep? <laughs> what is Pokemon that? Sleep. Pokemon Sleep. So it's a it's a cloud service, I guess. That it's you know it's supposed to help you gain like X. I didn't read up too much about it, but it's a cloud service for when it comes to um playing Pokemon and Shield and Sword coming out. It's just it's a it's a, it's just a cloud service that's supposed to 
gain some stuff while you sleep, I guess. Oh, I think I saw a little snippet in the news feed on that. Pokemon Go with her bedtime? There you go. What the fuck? <laughs> uh, I don't even want to know more about this. <laughs> Well, if we're talking about phone games, did you guys hear about that augmented reality craft? Huh? What? Yeah, so it's going to be like Pokemon Go. What's it called? Um, uh, what is it called? It's the augmented reality Minecraft. Oh my oh, gosh. Yeah, dude. So like, it's going to be like Pokemon Go, where you can go out in the world, but then you're through your... Through apparently, like through your phone, you're gonna see buildings and stuff like that out in the world that you can recreate with Minecraft, like Minecraft way. <laughs> oh <laughs> my gosh! Okay. <sighs> yeah. Minecraft. Very okay. interesting. Oh my. Yeah, I can't wait. I have to say though, I can't wait for E3. Can't wait! Can't wait for uh, June. Oh, it's in a couple weeks. Apparently, I, I was off. Uh, E three actually starts on. The... Yeah, no, I don't think so. I just looked it up. It was like two weeks from today. Really? Yeah. Oh, June eleventh. Yeah, June eleventh. Yeah, that was my fault. Oh, dude, that Final Fantasy VII remake news oh, in my. June. I knew, he yeah, was baby. Bring, I knew he was gonna bring that. Have to. Yeah, because you're looking at it on your iPad right now. Hey man, hey man. I mean, a lot of people are complaining about you know, that's neither here. That, but yeah. But all right, Ant, what else you got? Okay, my last topic is a release game, which it's called Lapis Cross Labyrinth. And I actually ordered it. <laughs> Why does that so, game look so Wow, you did actually order it. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, I've been waiting for this game because um, by um, Nipponichi uh, Software, which is Niz America. Um, they're the ones that actually created um, Disgaea. And it's a cool little, like, chibi freaking... Um, I guess you could not dungeon crawler, but side scroller, um, kind of looting. It's ridiculous, dude. Um, the reason why I got it was because it, it came in a collector's box, and dude, this collector's box is actually really, really sick. Oh, I'm, nice. I'm, I'm, I'm. It's really nice. Oh dude. wow, there's like a, nice. There's like a gloss here. Let me see if I. Can yeah, see. we can see like the shine on the lettering. Yeah. That's so. Dope. The, it's a really nice box, dude. Like, and then it came with a CD. It came with an art book. And it's, dude. It's like one of like a really nice collector's box. And it was only like, it was only like sixty bucks with everything. I'm sorry, but I'm gonna say this right now. I'm getting a very Maple Story esque feel to this. Oh right yeah, now. I told totally <laughs> Maple Story when I yeah. saw this it's... image right here. Which one? With the oh yeah I yeah. Like, so this is what I had in my mind right now when looking okay. at that i was like because so last week we were talking about um warcraft and um you know my my experience in warcraft and his experience in maple story and yeah he was talking about like if you're a girl we were talking about if you're a girl <laughs> you get a lot of help from people right so yeah. in my mind i was thinking that one on the left is about to give the person on the right a bunch of fucking shit because that's a girl <laughs> yeah because it's would you girls. like because would you like a lunchbox? Because you know, <laughs> like I said, like to to recap what I said last week, back in Ma when I played Maple Story, you know, you, if you're a female character, you'll see just a bunch of people go throwing you. You be my girl. You wanna be my? Are girl? you serious? Yeah, dude. <laughs> yeah. It was weird. That's so funny. Yeah, we were talking about the stress test. That's why we were talking about that. Mm -hmm. nice. But it lo it looks like a fun game. Have you have you actually started playing this? game? Yet, I just I just put the cartridge in this morning. I haven't had too many like not not long enough to actually enjoy it. I just went into my first dungeon. Um but there what I like about it, there's just a lot going on in the game. Um it first to me. 
there's just like a ton of stuff. It almost reminds me of when you go to the casino. <laughs> Is that what you're talking you, about? The first image? Um, let me see the first image. Give me a second. As far as a lot? Of yeah. Okay. And go to the very, very last image and you can see all like all the coins going everywhere. It kind of reminds me of slot like <laughs> slot machines. Wow. I can but see like, that because it says treasure combo on the top right there. Yeah, so all these like coins and stuff are just falling everywhere. It feels bubbly like the um like slot machines and stuff. Um you can choose different classes and all their classes are actually really cool, including like a maid and a necromancer. Um they're all chibi, so I'm really I just really like the um art art of this. It's not like a heavy duty game involved in such. It's just go out there and just kind of beat them up. It's kind of like a beat 'em up, you know? Is it multiplayer? Um, that's not it's only uh-huh. one i know i know it's it's single player with uh, grpg elements and then you just go in there and just have fun dude like it's just a mindless game and apparently it's only like 20 hours um but i i enjoy games like this just to have fun um and i really like the art style i really do so probably has a hell of a lot of replay value probably i'm hoping so at the very end I hope it just doesn't end. I'll bet you you could just like unlock a bunch of stuff. So, yeah. But I'll give you guys an update because I, like I said, I just got it yesterday. And I just barely threw it in today because I I don't have too much time anymore. What was that? Oh, um, I had a fart, <laughs> so I muted the mic. <laughs> oh, okay. At least. Guys, least, this, yeah, you're gonna hotbox that. I gotta be, yeah, I gotta be transparent. Guys, this is my, with, fi- this is my, guys this and... is my final hours. Yeah, this yeah. Sale. <laughs> you don't hear from this guy in an hour on his stream. Oh, nine one one. PJ, take your mask off now. <laughs> um. Yeah, that actually looks like a pretty good game. Yeah. Now is it only for the Switch? Yes. It's only for the Switch. Yep. Like it, just remi- it just reminds me of Final Fantasy. Waff? Final World <laughs> <Final laughs> <Final. laughs> well, They stack up like that, too, while you're fighting in the dungeon. Really? That stacking yeah. must be a thing. Yeah, because um, that's from Disgaea. I don't know if you played that one, but it's a... um. It, you can stack all your characters up and you can reach across the map and attack. It's pretty fun. Button the yeah. Is your belly button really? That, seriously? <laughs> oh my That's god. how it is, bro. Oh my god. It's <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> so cool, man. It looks like a fun game. Something that I would yeah. definitely especially like to kill. Exactly. That's what I was looking for. And like for the Switch on the go, it's perfect. Oh yeah. Well, anyways, Ron, what do you you have anything else? Um, kind of for now. No. Wait, I thought PJ, you had another or no? Because that was only one. Give me a sec. Oh, it's okay, dude. So, what was your next topic? Um. Oh, I can actually talk about um something about. Oh, did he have? Oh, he talked about two already, huh? My yeah. bad. Oh, but, sorry about that. Yeah. But real quick, I could talk about one thing. Hey, go ahead while I um, switch to it. A new uh, Rubbit. a new Pokemon mobile game. I'll tell you that. Pokemon Rumble. Rumble Rush. Rumble Rush, and I have been playing it. Um. And. It's another it's another game that you, it's a fun game that you can pass the time. Um it's a very it's um have you ever played Pokemon Quest Oddware? Pokemon Quest? Yeah. Yeah, you have? So yeah. this is kinda like that same feel to it, but almost not. So pretty much I can show this. So it basically fights on its own and stuff. You can't you you it will or you could just have it played by yourself. Or you could play it yourself, but um, it's very uh-huh. yeah, very interesting how this game looks. I like. I wish I could show you guys like actual live it, gameplay. Put it to this. the camera. 
camera. Hold on. I can't even see. There you go. You guys can see. I'll have it on. But this is Pokemon Rumble Rush. Um, and pretty much, you know, it's your, it's your typical Pokemon game. You go around and uh, capture Pokemon and everything. But you also have, like, these different bosses that you can fight. Um, and there's no evolution um, evolving mechanic in here. You pretty much, you go to any boss fight that you go to. And then, like, these quote-unquote dungeons to go fight these ones. And then you get, um, get all these ores that you have to refine. And it will give you, like, gears and everything. And, like, special summons. All that kind of stuff. And it's a, it's another great... Um, uh time, time killer. killer pretty much yeah. it's a pretty nice time killer and i've been playing it for about a week uh for about a week now maybe a little bit more than that my time killer there we go at least for the day let's put let's do some bullshit hour so i was invited to the second um stress test which they started at well it was supposed to start at two but i didn't get in until four o'clock which was the end of the stress test well, it was probably like one five ish when I finally logged in. But uh, dude, check this out, man! All those people, dude. <laughs> well, isn't that isn't that insane? Like, there is another streamer. Um, his name's Asmon Gold. Everyone is like all over him right now because of the hype. But his stream had even more people. In where I'm at, holy crap, that's a lot of fucking man. <laughs> a lot of people are hyped for this game, and um, and right now is uh, beta testing, and we open tomorrow 4 p.m. Playing tonight. Once I hit level 10, which is the cap right now, or some goal. <laughs> I like so is it free? Um, no, you have to pay the subscription. But as far uh, as the game itself, I'm sure you there is a, there is something else in order to get it. Probably like. So uh, wait, is this the same subscription you've been paying for the other Warcraft? Yeah. Or World of Warcraft? Yeah. Okay. So you basically, if you have a subscription already, you are able to do classic. Yeah. Okay. Another. So, what's the advantage or disadvantage of doing classic versus the most recent one? So oh, you're playing. Yeah. We we're talking about that. Well, oh, yeah. basically, you're playing um, World of Warcraft in its raw form before all of the. Other... Okay. Bef yeah, before they change it up, and a lot of so, people really wanted that. So, are they going to slowly? Um, update do it? the yeah update it and do all the um redo all the like expansions i don't well as far as expansions go no yeah um at least not yet not yet um right now they're gonna go through the timeline of vanilla launch and then skip a couple of patches and then um finish up with the rest of the vanilla content which i'm sure that would be time frame of at least a year at least mm -hmm. and then as far as burning crusade i have a very good feeling that they might because burning crusade is highly revered by players oh yeah that's when i started playing i like but here's my here's my 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 opinion when it came to and question about are they gonna I believe since a lot of people were very or have uh, have sought this out for all classic, I believe this should be its own separate game. Oh yeah, it is. It is. It is. Yeah, it is. Just that the subscription will cover both this game and regular, so that you don't have to pay a separate subscription. But are they still gonna keep it classic? See, that's see, that's that's the thing. I think. 
But right now, it's just going to be vanilla WoW. It's just going to be right now. Um, yeah, see, far... because a lot of people up lot, like I said, judging by how many people there is on that damn screen right now, in like in your stream, and how many people are playing, you know, people would prefer vanilla. This, Overall. Hey, a lot of people were speculating, even Blizzard said, why would the fans want Classic? You have to deal with this, this, and this, right? But little did they know after releasing it, it's what the fans wanted. New players, old players, you know, like, you got kids right now, and you played back when it first released. Like, you want to show them what you went through growing, like, when you first experienced MMORPG, you know? Like, for someone like me, it's like, I don't have kids, but still, it appeals to me because when I was playing this game, when I was playing Vanilla, I just met Ant. And we were partying all the time. <laughs> and so I just remember coming home, like, all plastered and stuff. Like, freaking just exploring the woods and freaking just enjoying the wilderness and the world because it was far ahead of time. And I think people just want to relive that and experience before WoW. Because now, like, this game, back then, when it released, it was focused, not focused on, but it was all about interaction with other, with other players. Like, you knew someone in the server that you could play with, right? Yeah. Like, a good healer, for example. You always hit them up. Oh, hey, let's go do some dungeons. Let's go do some dungeons. Or a good tank. Let's, hey, yo, I need you to tank. Like, I need you to tank, right? But in the new WoW right now, where it's currently at, you don't get those kind of interactions because now you just check Match some boxes. Me. Exactly. Match making. And that ruined the essence of what WoW was at its, you know, when it was great. So, where are you guys headed right now? So, a um, little bit about what's going on right now. So everyone's following Asbon Gold. So this is kind of what we're doing right now. We're following where he's going. And we were trying to plan on grouping up to do a, uh, they call it South Shore versus Terran Mill Raid because it's Horde versus Alliance. But because of this layering thing that was out, it didn't turn out as expected. It was unfortunate. Hmm. Yeah, everyone here it was funny because we're going through like high level is like fifteen plus level twenty five plus and I'm here like laughing my ass off because everyone else is a meat shield for pretty much. Like <laughs> mobs will come in and attack them and then I'll be like, Whew, I'm safe. I'm not gonna die. And would you ever play this? No. But I don't think so. I mean, it was fun, don't get me wrong. Like, I was having a good time, but I might have lost the interest because of... I always thought of it being this way, the classic way. But, like, if I were to jump into it now... I mean, it sounds all good. Like, everything that you said about it, Ron, that, like, I, that's exactly what I wanted to experience when I did have the subscription at the time. Um, but I, I, I don't know if I have the time to do it anymore. <laughs> That's the thing. Yeah. Cause I mean, I, I love the idea of MMO. I really, truly do. It's just a lot of work. It's a lot of work. That's what they're saying for PVP. There's the, um, titles that you would earn to achieve. And they're telling you straight up that you need to spend a lot of time to earn these titles and hold these titles yeah which is awesome because that's that's what everyone looks for in an mmo you know what i mean yeah i mean not only that it basically shows everyone on your server like you're a badass so if okay. you do you know group battlegrounds right or if you're getting killed by someone like, yo, I need help, I need help. And then you see, let's just call it um, Sergeant, because it used to be Sergeant as one of the ranks. Mm -hmm. The Sergeant, um, 
sergeant nutsack right comes up and you're just like yo help me i'm getting ganked that person that's killing you the sergeant nutsack and they're just like dude he's a sergeant he must have like he must be really good at pvp because so much you know Fucking yeah right oh off. and you you know as you say that um destiny is no different because in destiny in mm-hmm. destiny 2 um you pretty much uh you go for these these um these uh these milestones and then as you complete these milestones you start getting these titles like such as um riven's bane um uh called yeah riven's bane wayfarer those kind of things when you see that when you see someone that has riven's bane uh, that means that they're really good at doing this this specific specific raid because they know what they're doing they know how to sp- they could either speed run it or they could you know what they call sherpa sherpa or sherping and what that does is that it help um they pretty much they help out the players who have never done the raid it just shows mm-hmm. that they're really good at it when it comes to the other stuff like pvp there's a title for pvp if every time you would play and you saw somebody with that pvp title like it was pretty much like oh fuck screwed that kind yeah. of stuff as well hey guys uh you know uh, afc they're extra standards on their pie pie <laughs> makes a match two six dollars not sponsored by kfc <laughs> wait what the heck no there was, there was a kfc ad that popped up yeah oh there it is uh. Well, is there anything else that we want to add toward bullshit news? Oh, hey, look, in the stream, you can see. <laughs> and you have anything bullshit news? Um, Mention? um no. Nothing? I think we're good, yeah. Hey, since you weren't on last week, did you hear about no. Arnold's fourth? Yeah, <laughs> how'd you feel about that, bro? I thought it was funny. <laughs> it didn't, dude. He was worried about uh, he's all get down. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be okay, everybody. Just stay behind me. You're like, what the hell? You just got drop kicked. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, it was great. Well, and I guess that. Yeah, of course. Got Modware back on the. There right we here go. On the there he here. is right over here. The perspective. Um. But uh, yeah, I think we're done for tonight. We're, yeah. we're about to hit our. We're about to hit our mark. We're like eight minutes behind our mark, which is, I would say, a good time. I so wait. What are you playing right now, video game PJ? Oh, that's a good fucking question <laughs> that I cannot answer. Um, no, I'm kidding. I can't answer. answer. I can answer that. Um, obviously, I'm still playing uh, Destiny Two, um, because I'm trying to get ready for this new raid that's going to be coming out um, June fourth, which is going to be Season of Opulence for all of my, nice. uh, for all you Destiny. Um, Season of Opulence is another, it's like, um, it's kind of like a, somewhat of a DLC, um, because, um, pretty much what happened with, uh, what's going on with Destiny is the annual season pass, and you had three different add-ons, say like add-ons, um, the first add-on was the Black, uh, Black Armory, so pretty much, um, new weapons, um, new weapon, a new raid, and you get, uh, and new missions that you can do. And then there was something called the Season of the Drifter, um, which introduced a new PvP gameplay called Gambit and Gambit Prime. And then with Season of Opulence, is supposed to announce a new raid. Um, in terms of PvP, I don't know if there's going to be anything new. Which I highly doubt there probably will. And then it's just going to introduce new gear and new exotics, um, exotic weapons that are from destiny so definitely i'm trying to get ready for that um with anthem i've been i've been on and off with that game even though i want to play it um i just have to find like time and pretty much like the motivation to play 
And then, for those of you who don't know, I just recently picked up a PS4 again. And, what? Uh, <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah and you don't know that, huh? No. Forgot. Yeah, I picked up a PS4, my man. Um, and uh, I've been streaming my all-time favorite game, and I'm saying this. That's ahead of that's that takes God that takes God of War spot. I'm sorry, but God of War is now on number two. But Horizon Zero Dawn will always be my number one. That's what I'm currently playing right now, and that's what I've been streaming right now as recently as. And uh, I did buy the um, I did get the uh, the the complete uh, the edition. So it comes with the uh, the Frozen Lands, uh, Wildlands expansion DLC. So I am gonna be trying to play that and stream it 100%. Complete. Same goes for uh, God of War. And then what I also plan on doing with the PS4 streams is that I'm also gonna get um, Detroit Become Human. And how I'm gonna have that work out is that while I'm streaming that, I'm actually gonna let the viewers um, decide. Which route to take and what choices to make. Just to see what kind of outcome. Twitch.tv slash Legobra. That's uh, L E H G O B R H. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, those are pretty much the games that I've been. Um, I've actually been. Mostly it's nope. De- Destiny, Destiny, and. and uh, uh, Horizon Zero. Nice. No more Borderlands 2? Hey, I still want to play that too, man. <laughs> I still want to play that too. Like I said, just let me know when you're ready. Hey, that is true. I'll I'm definitely... always down, dude. Oh, yeah. That game's really good. Definitely going to want to play that. Just let me know. Borderlands How about you, Perspective? Well, like what I'm playing right now? Yep. Or Borderlands 2? No, oh. what games are you playing right now? Well, I'm. I don't want to say I'm playing Arcade, but I I have an account up right now, and I'm maintaining a house. Which my thoughts are upgrading the house to a story eventually. Like if I stay in the game, I would have probably had been halfway done if the WoW beta didn't freaking uh, start last week. But oh man. And also, if he had myself and uh, my. Uh, oh, yeah. I mean, but I can do it by myself because now, since land is so scarce, mm-hmm. I only have such a small amount of land to maintain. Okay. Yeah. So it's a different dynamic this time for me. That's why I was kind of interested. But with a you know, wow being. I'm just taking me away, and I can't help it because. It, man just reliving so many things like um i remember uh, like specifically there was a party that ant threw together a huge one in his dad's house Uh oh my god so i came home i messed up i get on the computer and i'm just like what am i gonna play what am i oh yeah world of warcraft because over there the whole time at his place everyone's like you know having their thing I'm listening to music, and I think at the time they were watching this Alice in Wonderland video or something like that. Yeah. But uh, I went home, I logged in, and I'm just going through the forest and just searching things. And it's like, like looking at the, the detail at the time of the forest. You know, just it just amazed me how huge, like how vastly different. All the areas where I was so I'm just kind of relive that again. It's been a long time since I've seen Azeroth in this raw form, you know, ever since Cataclysm, which is what five plus years ago now, it's never yeah. been the same. They changed the landscape of all together. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's true. See it like this anymore, and I. Looking back at my um, South Shore videos and seeing how PvP was back then when I was making the stupid PvP videos, it's just, and now I can kind of go back through it, but really do what I wanted to do 
as far as maybe even build if I decide to run a guild. EOB! But yeah, play an arcade, trying to keep up with the beta. Um, I'm still in love with PUBG, which we played last night. That was fucking fun. Yeah! That was fun. Uh, as well. I'm so frustrated about last night, though. God. We and... got second last night. No, it wasn't even. Night. It wasn't even the fact that we got second, but I had in all those oh. games. Yeah. Was that way? So he was kicking ass and killing people and just I had raping eight the shit. kills total. Eight yeah. kills. And okay, so we were in the the desert map, uh, Miramar, and we dropped in our favorite place, Pekado, and. I literally only had, what I think, was it just a sawed-off shotgun, okay? I had the sawed-off shotgun. I get into one of the motels on the top floor, and I hear somebody outside, um, inside the building, like, in the main hallway, shooting out the window. There's always a window in the middle, center. And I try to peek around the corner, and I see him. So what I decided to do was that I throw a grenade in that guy's general direction, and he goes towards my room. I was like, oh, fuck, I gotta get ready. But then I peek around the corner. He's just hiding behind the wall. And then as soon as the as soon as the grenade goes off, he runs out. Oh, yeah, it was funny oh, as damn. fuck. It's funny. I'm gonna I'm gonna clip it because I um left a bookmark. <laughs> oh, it's the giraffe shitting out fucking skittles. Nice. Oh, he's milking. Oh, he's milking, he's it. milking it. Oh my. Okay, well, all right. Nice to know what kind of ads you put on your Twitch channel. So, so he was kicking ass, right? And you know how he died? He was freaking prone on the floor, looking around, and someone was behind him and was just bah, 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 like, "What a way to die!" I know. Uh, kicking okay. all that ass. And I had and I had a random with me, who probably oh, only killed like one person, and that was it. <sighs> <laughs> so frustrating. Right. Uh, that's all I'm playing right now. Nice. Yeah, I freaking uh, Amelia bought me um, Dead by Daylight last week. Last uh -huh. Friday, I think. Oh, dude, and are you? I mean, is it good? Have you ever heard of that it's game? Fun? No, I have. Yeah, I've seen a lot of YouTube and uh, streamers. Play. It looks really. Fun. Only problem is, I'm a little bitch. So. <laughs> Kim's too scared to play it. Yeah, I, I'm gonna be playing a little bit of that here and now. Nice. Yep. And what about Rocket League? Now I have a PS4. Oh, see, I've been kind of on the fence on Rocket League. I'm waiting for it to get really cheap. Summer sale. I was gonna say, like, if everyone was down to play Rocket League on PS4, it, it was went on, on sale. On dude, Black it was Friday. free when it first came out. See. I was going to try and get it when it was coming with graphics cards, and Raph was upgrading his card, but... Oh, no, on the on the PS4, when it first ever released, ever, oh. it was free on PS Plus. Wow. Yeah. Damn. Yeah, so I have it. Rip. Oh, you got it already? Well, because I downloaded it. I was like, oh, what's this game? And no one heard about it, but it was free. Oh, for see, that first now month. we have to get it. I guess we gotta get it now. Fuck. It's a hard game, man. It's a crazy game. Yeah. All right. Oh, I yeah. guess we gotta check. Uh, make sure we we get it for like ten bucks or something. Yeah. Oh. Well, Ant, you want to go ahead and close out? All right. Sounds good. Well, everybody, thank you for joining us tonight. So the Tech Trio. This is episode. What is it again? Sorry, guys. Twenty five. Twenty five. <laughs> Episode Damn 25. It. Thank you for coming by. My name is Mark. We have Lego Bra. Go ahead and wave. And we also have Perspective. Um, and before you even say anything, uh, let me also add this add this into us as well. Um, for those of you guys who don't know, we have a new uh, we're doing a stream. We're doing our stream just a little bit different now. Um, we are only streaming on Twitch. This, this goes back to the beginning of what Ant said. But unfortunately, we were not capturing his audio, so I figured I'd recap on that. Um, but like I said, we are um, we do uh, have, we're doing things a little bit different now, and so far it looks like it's going pretty good, especially on the first run. 
Um, so how it works is that we're streaming on Twitch, and then if you missed our stream, you guys can head on over to our YouTube channel. Um, if you go on YouTube and you search up the Tech Trio, and as you can see on the stream, if you look for our logo right here, that's gonna be our channel. Make sure you guys are subscribed. If we get to 100 subscribers, we can have our own custom link or custom URL, and then um. Also, so you guys, and then um, make sure you guys click that that bell icon so you get notified when we upload our past streams that happen. Um, and then if you follow us on Facebook, uh, facebook.com forward slash the tech trio, you guys actually can catch up any of the highlights that were in um, in our past streams. So you guys can take. A look. So yeah, that's pretty much about it. That's all I had to say. Cool. All right, guys. Welcome to Tech Trio. This is episode twenty-five. Oh, I'm Perspective. <laughs> this is Lego Bra, and this is Modware Clothing. I'm so confused now. <laughs> yeah, for those, mm -hmm. um, this is us in the future because we totally messed up on the intro. So yeah, Modware's back. Cool. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. Oh, Are you guys talking to me? That's going to be for the uh, for, for the, the edit. Yeah. <laughs> Since we weren't able to capture your audio in the beginning. <laughs> yeah. Gotcha. All right. Do that or you're going to... I'm mad wear clothing. <laughs> no, no. You'll see. You'll see. You'll see. You'll oh, see. man. Oh. I think that's pretty much uh, we all have to say. And if you want closing us out. Wait, what? I thought I did already. Yeah, you did, you did. <laughs> I oh. thought we already covered everything. Oh, yeah. yeah. Wow. Well, all right. Good night, everybody. Good night, everyone. Good night, Take guys. care now. Thanks for tuning in. Take care. <laughs>